Let's talk about how fair organizations are. The perception of how fair an organization is is known as organizational justice. And in this video, we're going to look at equity theory, which is the foundation of most of the research done in organizational justice. Now, what do we mean by equity? Equity theory talks about equity, which is different than equality. Equity at work occurs when an employee's inputs equal the employee's outcomes. Now, both of these are really subjective, but when the inputs and the outputs that a, a, an employee makes are equal, one feels a sense of equity. And this is in contrast to equality, where, which occurs when all employees get the same outcomes, regardless of employee inputs. So, for example, there might be some employees that get paid more than other employees, but that'll be okay if the employees that get paid more bring more to the uh, organization. People will think that's okay. So, what are these inputs and outcomes that are supposed to be uh, 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 equal? So, the input that an employee can bring to a, a, a job are time, their education and their ability, their effort, their loyalty, and things like that. And the more of these inputs they bring to a job, the more they expect uh, the, the outcomes to be, the greater the outcomes should be. And that includes salary, but it's not limited to salary. It could include, include benefits, perks, job security, job title, uh, job control, the, the degree that one has freedom to choose to do what one wants to at work. Uh, Work-life balance is an outcome that people really value, uh, responsibility, recognition, and so on. And so if we uh, uh, think that what we're bringing to an organization is equal to what the organization is providing to us, we tend to think that this is an equitable situation. Now, what equity theory says is that people naturally seek to create equity in their job. Now, how does this occur? Well, equity theory says that employees adjust their effort in function of the rewards that they receive. So that means if somebody feels that they're under-rewarded, um, the employee is going to feel angry and reduce their effort, and they're more likely to steal. And lots of research has shown that this is to be uh, true. If, if employees think that they're underpaid, under-recognized, they're far more likely to uh, uh, reduce their effort, uh, try to get away with things, and steal things, things like that. Now, to a lesser degree, research also shows that over-rewarded employees feel guilty and they try working harder or being more appreciative to, uh, uh, to balance things out. Now, how do people tell what a balance is? Equity theory says that employees compare their input to outcome ratio to other employees to decide what's fair. So if I look and see that I'm bringing just as much to an organization as somebody else does, but they're getting more than I am, that's going to seem unfair. Or if I bring more to the organization than somebody else does, but we have the same uh, uh, salary and benefits and status and recognition and things like that, there's a good chance that I'm going to be see I'm going to see that as unfair also. So that input to outcome ratio of other employees tends to be what we look at to see if, uh, um, if things are, are fair or not. Another a aspect or an extension of equity theory is the idea of equity sensitivity. People vary in what they, the degree to which they prefer uh, equity and to what degree equity is important to them. And so there's uh, kind of three categories of, of people, benevolence, equity sensitives, and entitled. So benevolence are people that tolerate and may even prefer situations where their inputs are greater than their outcomes. They want to be giving more than, uh, than they get, and they just feel a lot better about that. And uh, 
Um, it's interesting. Uh, Jesus himself said it's better to give than to receive because in, in giving, one gets to, to show love. And uh, so in a sense, that would, that's a, a sen, uh, uh, an example of, of benevolence in an organization. And so people that are benevolent don't seek to get as much as they could because that's what others are getting, but they're happier to uh, uh, be providing more than what they uh, get in return. The next level is equity sensitives. These are people that want their in input to outcome ratio to be the same as other employees. And so this is what equity theory assumes people are. Um, they, uh, they, they assume this is the normal level of equity sensi sensitivity. And in reality, it's not because there are benevolence. And on the other end of the spectrum, there are entitled. People who are in, feel entitled prefer situations where their outcomes are greater than their inputs, who get back more than what they uh, uh, put into and think they deserve that uh, 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 greater outcomes than uh, other people given their level of, of input. And so that's for that reason, they're called entitled. So this is an overview of equity theory on how the uh, people desire their inputs and outcomes to balance out in a work situation. And if we perceive that they don't uh, uh, balance out, we're going to feel a sense of injustice, which is known as, uh, uh, which is covered in the field of organizational justice.